Let's look at addition to 100 using the compensation strategy. When we use this strategy, we're using mental math to move the numbers around so that they're easier to add together. This question is perfect for the compensation strategy. 41 plus 9. Here we see the question using the base 10 blocks. 41 and 9. We'll start by taking 41 to its nearest 10. You can see that 41 is closer to 40 than to 50, so we're going to take it to 40. When we take the 41 to 40, we've got this extra one left over. And we are simply going to, in the compensation strategy, we're simply going to add it to the other add end. So we're just going to add it over here. We used to have 9, now we have 10 because we moved this one here. And there you can see that. So we didn't actually add or subtract any blocks. All that we did is we took one away from here and we added it over here. That's not going to change our sum at all, so it's not going to change the answer in any way. So these two equations will have the same sum. They're going to have the same answer. We started out with 41 plus 9. We moved a block around so that now we have 40 plus 10. We took the 1 away from here and we added it over here. We now have an equation that is much easier to calculate. So now we have 40 plus 10 equals 50. So we know that 41 plus 9 is also 50. Sometimes it's not that easy. Then you have to choose the number that is closest to the nearest 10. So here we have 28 plus 56. 28 is 2 away from 30 and 56 is 4 away from 60. So you're just looking for the one that's closest to its nearest 10. The 28 is closer to its nearest 10. It's only 2 away from 30. So here, let's take a look at the base 10 blocks again. We've got 28 plus 56, and we need to bring 28 to 30. We're going to do that by taking two of the blocks from 56, and we're just going to move them over here. Now we haven't changed the sum or the answer at all. We've actually only changed the question. And we've changed the question to 30 plus 54. 30 plus 54 is a much easier question to add in our head. So 30 plus 54 is 84. Because 30 plus 54 is 84, we also know that 28 plus 56 is 84. But I'm guessing, I know for myself, it would have taken a lot more thinking for me to figure out 28 plus 56 than for me to use the compensation strategy to change those numbers to 30 plus 54. So compensation is a mental math strategy. Let's try it without manipulatives. 25 plus 67. We take the whichever number is closer to its nearest 10. 25 is 5 away from 30, and 67 is 3 away from 70. This one is closer. 67 is closer to its nearest 10. So, as I said, 67 is closer to its nearest 10. We're going to cross out the 67 and make it 70. And we had to add 3 to get to 70. Well, that 3 actually came out of the 25. So we cross out the 25, we take out 3, and we add them to the 67 to make 70. Now we have two easier numbers, 22 and 70. And these are our add-ends. So we started out with 25 plus 67. We took 3 out of here 
added them to 67. So now we have 22 and 70. 22 and 70, we can do that in our heads. That's 92. And so 25 and 67 also equals 92. Here are some practice questions. Try adding these numbers using the compensa compensation strategy. You may want to begin with base 10 blocks. And that might be a really good place to start just to get your brain understanding that what you take out of one side, you just add to the other side. Good luck with this strategy.